Hey, what's up guys? My name is Joshua. I'm a logo designer and today I'm going to show you how to make a barbed wire pattern. Please make sure to subscribe, give a like and comment down below so I can, I can continue making this kind of mini tutorials for you so you can improve yourself in design. Well, you already noticed that I started I'm trying to make that uh, barbed wire that you can see there, but very simple. Let's make it very simple. I'm using the pen tool to make this. You can do it with anything you can count on, uh, depending on your experience in Illustrator. I'm making, I'm making it this way. Doesn't have to be the best spiky design that you ever made just we're going to make a, a simple pattern here so it doesn't matter if it's extremely good or not just just good just nice so as you can see i'm still continue creating this i'm in the part of the knot uh, you know this this barbed wire it has a has like a metal knot so I'm recreating this for for the pattern okay so once we get here that you have this this three elements we copy and paste the first spike and mirror it and we do it like this we have a very nice percentage of the pattern completed so what's next we we're going to make a like a little spike uh, here in the first in the first spike that we got there just like this you fix the, the way that you want, nothing fancy, no biggie, just like this. And the next step is very simple as well. We copy and paste this one and mirror it uh, down below, down the other spike that we got there. There we go. okay so for this part we're going to select the pen tool and make a line a stroke and we are going to make the wire part so we make a one line to create the a part of the wire and a second line with the pen tool to recreate the second line of the of the of this barb wire there we go we make some some adjustments here uh, remember you can you you can do the way I'm doing it I'm doing this or the way you <clears throat> you want to do it it doesn't matter to make it exactly as I am making it but you can do it your own way well as you can see I duplicate the, the two lines and put it in the other side of the of the knot okay don't forget to to select the lines and expand them I choose all and expand them just in case I miss uh, a stroke there so I expand them unite them and we got this design right here as you see okay so what I what you see I'm doing here is very important I am cutting the end of the left part and the right part uh, as a as a single straight line because that's 
that's going to be the parts that are going to be united when we make a pattern. So these end cuts must be as clean as possible and with a straight line like I'm doing right here. See that they, are, uh, they have a clean cut right here. So when we trace a line, the pattern can unite perfectly. Okay, so right here I'm just testing how it sees in a black background. Oops, I I forgot to, to clean that up. I'm going to clean right away. Oop, okay, we got it. Okay, so not that we got this design you can do it in black or white doesn't matter we click brush pattern okay and we leave all this this way yeah okay and that's it we have our barbed wire pattern let's make a test oh nice very nice well hope you enjoy have fun making a test with this new brush pattern and tell me how it goes hope you enjoy this video remember i'm a logo designer i have logo pre-mates for sale and you can contact me by my email um, Twitter, Instagram that I leave in the description. Also in the description we have pre-mates for sale. Bye!